Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm actually back with a weekly vlog, which is exciting. I've actually got such a busy week ahead. Um, so I'm starting this vlog, I think it's about one o'clock at the moment. Um, Arella has just gone down for a nap. This morning we actually went to Fleet Pond, which is one of our favourite little walks, which was really fun. I went there with my mum. Um, and we got home and made like a little oat milk iced coffee, which is melted so badly. And then she was really tired, so I put her down for a nap. But someone else's baby really fight their naps. Like, she's clearly so tired. Like, I just know when she gets tired. But whenever I put her down, she don't want to sleep. Um, so that was quite a task. But yeah, I'm just in her room at the moment because she's obviously in our room sleeping. Um yeah i thought i'd do a weekly vlog this week we actually start a baby class tomorrow which is really exciting um i did actually take her to a baby class when she was about five weeks old I wasn't keen on the class like it was full of older people than me like obviously i'm 25 so i wouldn't say i'm a young mum but these mums were like <laughs> you could tell they were like stay-at-home mums and this seemed a bit entitled and like no one really spoke to me like i would try and make conversation just they were obviously all had their own friends already because I started like mid-term so luckily I did pay as you go so I only did one session then I was like eek I'll wait till she's a little bit older and I'll wait until I can start one at the start of term so that's what we're going to do tomorrow which I am really really excited about but yeah the plans for the rest of the afternoon going to the car read tonight with my friend which I'm very excited about um apart from that not a lot I'm just going to sort out her room because it gets a little bit messy um got h&m order so let's show you actually what i got from h&m first of all i just got this little heart set these sets are absolutely amazing guys if you've got a baby or having a baby get these sets got it in 69 but it's also got matching leggings in there but they're so cute i love these little heart sets that they do she's actually got a couple of other ones oh god great they just sort of fell where's that other one this one oh, i'm obsessed with this one this one's like a nude this one's in four to six months wait i've put that in the wrong Bit. these are this is six to nine so goes down there yeah these are so cute i'll link it down below if you guys want to get one i also picked up these leggings for her so i actually got the bodysuit in store the other day but they didn't have the leggings and i really wanted it as like a little set and this is the little bodysuit thing that it goes with i thought it was so cute and this was only three pounds which is insane i think these bottoms are three pounds as well and they're adjustable as well which is really really good so i reckon she'll fit in these soon to be honest because she's quite a big girl Hold on, do they not match? Stop it. Are the colours different? Or am I actually... Oh my god, they don't even match. Bye. Okay, well that's the outfit. <laughs> Ruined, but they're still cute. They can still go with like a white little bodysuit. And these can go with like some white leggings, I guess. But yeah, that is a bit weird. I picked up this top for myself. So this has actually gone viral on TikTok. And I picked up the last one in the last size available. And I had a bit of a mare ordering it, I can't lie. Like it kept not going through. So I kept thinking it was out of stock. But... This is basically just a really basic top, if I'm honest. But everyone says these are really, really nice. So I'll probably try it on maybe later to go to the car room. I'm not too sure. But yeah, just basically a cream t-shirt. I don't really see what's so great about it. But I guess we'll see. I'll let you guys know what is so great about this. And if it's back in stock, I'll put it down below. But these are very, very popular. I think they have black in stock. So I'll put it down below. But I'm pretty sure this one is all sold out. so random but i got buy it up the other day on my nails so normally i get acrylics i've had acrylics on oh, I, I don't even know when i last had them off like i think the last time i had them off was locked down so it is awful and i suddenly came to the realization that my nails are probably absolutely crying out for help so i actually went for buy app i wasn't actually going to get buy app i didn't think that my nail shop actually did it but i said to them that i wanted my acrylics off then i wanted gels and they said maybe get buy app um and I'm so impressed with these. They literally look like acrylics, but these are my actual nails. Um, and yeah, they're holding up really, really well. I mean, we'll see how they go this week and stuff. But so far, so good. I love them. Oh, I literally just packed a couple of parcels for Vintage. One of them is literally going to where I live. Like, I'm pretty sure the person's going to be collecting it from the place I'm dropping it off. It just seems a bit pointless, doesn't it? Um, yeah, packed some Vintage bits. I never know what to do while she naps. I'm like, oh my god, I need to get stuff done. I might do her washing, actually. Um, but yeah. 
Okay, I've literally just forgotten to vlog today. Um, I've just shoved my hair back up. I've been to the car room with my friend, which was really, really nice. Um, the car room was good. Let me insert a picture because I took a picture of it. But we were literally just speaking for like hours and I didn't even bring my camera with me. But yeah, I really like to sleep now, fast asleep. I am just going to have a shower and then hopefully go to bed pretty soon. Um, got to have baby class tomorrow, which is very exciting. I'll let you guys know how I get on the bit, but yes, I think she's going to have a shower and get into bed. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So we are back from, it's now Tuesday by the way, we are just back from Arella's baby sensory class, which was good. She's going to literally show her face. She really enjoyed it. I I personally find these classes really difficult to go to. Um, I do get really anxious to go because like I really want to meet mum friends, but I just find it so difficult. I feel like every single class I go to, people know each other. And when people know each other, they don't really make an effort to kind of like include you in the conversation or like... I started talking to this one girl and then her friend came and she just basically stopped talking to me, turned her back on me. I like, I just feel like in that situation, if I went and I knew someone and like someone was clearly by themselves, I would make an effort to be like, oh, do you want to come and sit with us? But I don't know. Either way, it's fine. It's about Arella, it's not really about me. And she really enjoyed it, didn't you? You absolutely enjoyed it. It was Harry Potter week, so... She really loved it. She was absolutely zonked at the end. Um, and I think she might go for a nap soon, to be honest. We're a bit tired, aren't you? Mm. But hopefully, I might ask uh, my boyfriend to come to the next one. There was a couple of dads there, so I might just see if my boyfriend will come, just so I feel a bit more, like, less lonely. Like, I just felt a little bit lonely and a bit, like, by myself. Obviously, I was with her. But it is difficult when everyone knows each other and you're just kind of there, like okay um but yeah it's okay i think around might be hungry we're gonna do a quick haul so i think this is my stuff from team you never ordered from here before um but i thought i'd show you guys what i got so i didn't order that many things i think i ordered about five things in the end i was gonna order more but i was like i really don't need more Here's from this, oh this is my like ice cube thing this is so random i literally got really random things but this is like one of those circular like cube is it a cube no cylinder i don't know it's like an ice cube maker basically i think this was like 890 oh this is an outfit for arella for miss arella it's just like oh my god look how cute that is it's like a little romper i am so impressed this would be really cute, like when we go out places. <gasps> Look, Arella, it's yours. It smells a little bit funky. I'm probably gonna wash it first, but I am impressed with the quality of this. Um, I'll put links down below for everything, but yeah, I've just got this in three to six months. Just a little outfit for Arella. Uh, next, we got this little bag. This is actually for Arella's pram. So normally when I take the pram out, I take like her big bag, but it's too big to always bring out. So I just got this little one. How cute is this? It's got like little rabbits on and little like roses. I don't know. These are not roses. I don't know what flower they are. But does it have like little? Yeah, it does. But I thought this would be really cute. Just when I want to just bring out like a couple of nappies and a pack of wipes and some nappy bags. Like this is a perfect size for that. And it's just way less bulky. It's just easy. Look, Arella, do you like that? I got a new little <laughs> coffee whisk. It's got a cappuccino maker. Um, literally just like this. Hold on. Pull it out. Ah, oh, I need batteries in it. But it's just one of those things that you can like whisk up your milk with. I thought this would be really good for like my iced coffees. I actually used to have one of these. You know in lockdown when everyone was making those like whipped coffees? I used to have one, but then I put it in the dishwasher and it broke. So that's great. Ah, this is one of the ink pads. This was literally about one pound. Look, Arella. This was literally a pound. I got these on Amazon before because I did some handprints and footprints when she was first born. But one pound for this. Wow. I got some glass straws. So literally just some glass straws like this. And then a cleaner. Let's feed you because you're so hungry. Arella is in the other room. But oh my God, she's fighting her sleep so badly. I'm obviously watching her on this and listening to her on this. But... She's so tired. Oh, let's go, go to sleep. Okay, anyway, I'm going to leave her for like five minutes. Let's see if she goes to sleep. Let's put this up. Um, unbox this as well. This was actually from the TikTok shop, I'm pretty sure. Let's 
have a look. Yes, it's a softball. Okay, it's a bit, it's a little bit dented, but we move. Um, so I literally got her this pack of balls. Apparently these are meant to be really good for like little babies. Um, it's just different ones that they can like hold and stuff. And it's really cute. Look at the TikTok shop. Um, I'll let you guys know how she gets on with them, but hopefully she'll go to sleep. Oh, I honestly feel like today has been such a write off. Um, I just don't feel good today. And that's fine. Like there, you can have dates where you don't feel good. And Arella was just so overtired. It took me so long to get her to sleep. And she keeps waking up. Like I think she's in such a light sleep. But I think it's good to speak about days which aren't so great. Like I honestly just sat there and cried when she was just like screaming because she wouldn't go to sleep, but she was so tired, but she's finally gone to sleep. Um, and then I think the baby class, obviously, she loved it and it's so good for her but personally I get really anxious about going to things like that and then I think I'm putting a lot of pressure under myself to like meet mum friends and meet you know people with children of her age but it is difficult and I think people need to speak about that if you can hear a tv it's from downstairs by the way um if you don't know like any friends with any babies the same kind of age like it is it's so tricky um and I've learned that like I've been to two different baby groups now and each time don't get me wrong the baby group's amazing but I just feel like because people know each other they're just not that open to speaking to you they're kind of like okay I've made my friends that'd be that and that's it's quite difficult it is why does this keep not working tomorrow Arella has her next lot of jabs I think it's like the 18 week ones I'm not too sure she's had two lots so far so these are her last ones until she's like one I think but I feel like every single time she has jabs like Second time was alright because she didn't get a temperature. That time I don't think is the time where they get a temperature, but the first time was rough. And I feel like tomorrow could be rough as well. Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting, but I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, it is now Wednesday. I feel like I haven't really vlogged a lot. I just keep forgetting to pick up my camera. Don't know why. Anyway, my dad took my car today to the BMW garage. Well, not the actual BMW garage, it's just a garage that is like, opposite his work and they like specialise in BMWs. And my car. Oh. I actually have to laugh or I'm going to cry. It's nearly costing £500 to repair. Yeah. Um, to be fair, it hasn't been serviced. It did need a service. And I feel like services are about 100 150 I'm not too sure. But it's got a few other problems. Um, it's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good. What the hell? What is going on in the house of car? It's nearly £500. To be fair, I'm not surprised. The other day when the... Um, drivetrain malfunction came on the car was driving very strangely um, and I knew it was something I knew there was something wrong with that car so yeah it's being fixed today which is good um, it's in a very like trusted garage and I want them to do the job properly so that's fine but um, yeah that's not down with I don't even know if I spoke about my car I literally I haven't driven it for like two weeks because it's had a problem then it couldn't get looked at for like two weeks so yeah that is a bit unfortunate, but we move, life goes on. <laughs> um, so yeah, today Arella has her 16 week jabs. I feel like there's constantly jabs when they're a baby. Like, I feel like her other ones were literally, or well, they were only about four weeks ago, but oh, I don't like it. Like, luckily, Arella is quite a bruiser. Like, she's quite, she's not a big girl, but she, she's got like chunky legs and stuff. So whenever she gets them done, um, she cries for like 10 seconds and then she's absolutely fine. Um, the first time she had like a fever and stuff, second time she was all right. Um, but I think this might be the time where she gets the fever again. Um, but it's okay, we'll see how it goes. My boyfriend is taking us at like, I think they're at 2.15? Yeah, 2.15. Um, um, so yeah, that'll be fine. I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes and stuff. Obviously, I won't bring you with me because that's a bit awkward. I remember last time we went, we had such a nice night. She did the first ones and the second ones. I don't think she's doing these ones. I think someone else is doing them. But when we came the second time, she was like, oh my god, like I remembered her from my name. Like She's so beautiful and I was telling everyone how beautiful she is. Bless her. Um, yeah, the nurses are all so nice. And I really hope I may see my midwife up there today. I'm not too sure, but my midwife's obviously based there. Um, and she never got to meet Arella, and I'm still very upset about it to this day, so I'm really hoping one day I just randomly bump into her so she can actually meet Arella. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna go make some breakfast now because I'm hungry. I love how the weather gets slightly cold, and I'm like, do you know what? Put my bloody winter pajamas on, but yeah, let's go make some breakfast. Breakfast today. I've just got these little scotch pancakes. I saw these in the shop, and I was like, these look really good, and I never get them. 
Then I just put some honey on them. I never know if you're meant to put honey on pancakes. Don't think you are, but it tastes really good. And then some strawberries. Yum. Oh, let's see your little chunky thigh. Oh, bless her. Just went to the doctors to get Arella's 16 week jabs done. We actually had the same lady that did her eight week ones and 12 week ones. So lovely. She absolutely loves Arella. Um, but yeah, now she doesn't have any until she's one. She's actually very good. You're very good, aren't you? She's very good with her jab. She only kind of like cries really briefly and then it's absolutely fine. Giving her some cow balls. So hopefully, fingers crossed she'll be okay later. But she's kind of just playing with her feet. She's got this new trick I'll show you in a minute. She just holds onto her feet and tries to pull her socks off. And I'm pretty sure she'll be pulling her socks off soon. But yeah, we're just going to kind of chill for the rest of the afternoon, I think. Just have a quiet one because I think she's going to be a bit grouchy. I'm not too sure. But we'll see. Let me show you what this girl's doing. She is obsessed with doing this. I think she's just found her feet or something. I'm not too sure, but she just doesn't stop touching them and trying to pull her socks off. Okay, good morning everyone. It's now Thursday. I can't believe it's Thursday. I don't know where this week has gone. Um, I'm back in my car. As you guys know, my car's been fixed. I literally couldn't drive it for two weeks. Um, it had a lot of issues. Fixed and it drives so much better now. Um, I just stalled my car so badly in front of my neighbour. I'm so embarrassed. So this morning I'm actually on my way to B&M at Home Bargains. I thought I would just go and check them out because I haven't been there in like two weeks. I'm such a basic girl, it hurts. Um, my mum has got a rally at the moment. I feel like a lot of the time I'm like, yeah, I rather than my mum. Basically, my mum is going to be looking after her most of the time when I'm back at work which will be in like a couple of months time so she has her for like a couple of hours each morning just to kind of get used to it and I want Arella to be like really used to her as well because I want that transition to be quite smooth so she honestly doesn't mind like she loves it so um every day I love for a couple of hours she'll just have her and it's just really nice for me as well just to be able to like get ready and like just do some bits etc I've also got something to post for a vintage um so yeah, let's go to B&M. I don't know if I'm gonna bring my camera because I wanna make a TikTok and it's just too much of a faff bringing both in and trying to do both, so we'll see. Okay, I've just been to B&M. It was all right. They had all their Christmas bits out, which was really, really good. One tip I do have is that if you want Christmas bits from B&M, go now and get them because they sell out and then they don't really restock in the same way as when they first put them out, if that makes sense. So I picked up a couple of bits. I got this like candy cane mug, which I think is adorable. Can't wait to drink from this. Um, I love little mugs like this. And then I got this little plate. It's like a Santa plate. It's like what you put down when you're a kid. I got it for Arella to put down for Santa. I thought it'd be really cute and it can be something that we do like every single year. I really, really like this. Um, so you just put like a carrot there, a little biscuit, and then a beer or a drink. I don't know. We used to, I swear we used to put beer down for Santa. Is there anyone else? Or are my family just like weird? Um, and then I just got this hair oil that I always use on my hair. I was gonna go to Home Bargains, but I can't really be bothered today. I think I'm just gonna go to Costa and then go Home Bargains another day. Like, I really don't need to go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go Costa now and then go back home. I always get so annoyed by the impost lockers being full. It's actually my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> ah! Anyway, went there, couldn't post my parcel. Went to Costa and I got this maple, is that what it's called? Maple hazel ice latte. For some reason, I honestly, yeah, I asked for an ice latte, but why did I ask for an ice latte? I literally wanted the fra frappe, whatever it's called, frappuccino. Fucking hell. I need a mix. I just literally inhaled maple hazel. That's really good. Really like that. Hey guys, I am back home with Arella. Arella is just on her little play mat, but I'm gonna unbox something that I bought for her. And a quick disclaimer, this is very extra and not something that I would normally get, but basically I was on this website and I've always wanted to get Arella a Fendi blanket, but I've always been like, I am not spending four to 500 pounds on a blanket, like it's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, they were on sale for 155 pounds. I didn't get one of them because I was like, that's still so much money for a blanket that she's just gonna puke over and yeah, um, <laughs> I saw these Fendi hats and they are so cute and I've always thought they're so adorable and I was like, I need to get her one because they were down, literally down from £135 to £40 
and I went back on the website after I ordered this and they were back at full price so I am 99% sure the Fendi bits were incorrectly discounted because there was a Fendi stroller as well but it's only 1.4k it was down to 400 pounds and I was like this isn't right like the Fendi sale stuff was just not right um so I got her the hat and I'm so happy because I've always been like I'm not spending that amount of money on a hat then I saw it so discounted and I was like, do you know what? It's a cute keepsake as well and it'll be so nice for her for the winter. So just to this game, I would never spend that amount on a hat. Like I would have never got it if it was full price. But it's arrived. I might have to just quickly put a relative there because I think she's tired. Um, so yeah, one sec. <clears throat> okay, a relative's down for a nap now. So I am just going to open her new and very extra hat. Um open this is there a quick way to open it yes i love these boxes okay let's see oh i love ones that open like this as well cute little box um i'm so excited oh it's in a little dust bag as well oh and then it's oh that is so cute I love that she's gonna look so cute in it it's actually i think ages three to nine months but this is gonna be so cute for the winter look how cute it is i'm obsessed it is now saturday i've decided that i'm gonna end the vlog here um i feel like this video is kind of being boring but we're really not up to much today so i think i'm just gonna end the vlog here really hope you guys have enjoyed it Riley sends her love <laughs> um give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below for more and yeah I'll see you guys next time with another brand new video. There'll be more vlogs coming, more fun things. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and follow me on TikTok. Bye guys.